I'm going to show you Dollar Tree items that you can use on the outside of your camper as long with a few DIYs. Keep watching. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our and This adventure. is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. Wanted, since I did a Dollar Tree organization and everything for the inside of your camper, I thought I would give you a Dollar Tree organization for the outside. I'm going to show you some things that you can use to on their own that comes from Dollar Tree that you can use on the outside of your camper as well as doing a few little crafts and some of them are not really that hard for things and decor on your outside. Whoa, you don't need to spend any more money. Like you've done spend so what? much for the inside of that camper. It's the Dollar Tree. The Dollar no, Tree. No, it's no more. Not. This is just fuel. Look at all this. We've had to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars the Dollar to do Tree. this. It, it, it's not. What is wrong with I'm not spending hundreds yeah, of no, dollars no, on the to outside. Cut in on me. It's... No, no, don't be trying to cut in on me. I'm telling I'm you. I'm telling you. That everything is a you don't dollar. Need to be it's all a dollar. This money. dollar. It's not. Like it's all not that like... stuff's a dollar. You yeah, lost your just, mind. You go on. Just yeah. keep spending your money. <sighs> I don't know if y'all want to listen to her or not. I mean, look how much stuff she's got. You gotta let me get a word. She's saying all that was just a dollar. No, it's not. Well, all right. Well, you just go on with your video. You just <sighs> go ahead. You just you just do that. Just just do That's that. That's so aggravating. We're just spending a dollar. <laughs> Don't tell her that I've probably spent fifty dollars at the Dollar Tree. As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, there's like some cool things. Um, we're going to use some of these outdoor lights, the solar lights, to make some cute little decor. They have things that we can use without even doing a DIY project. On this video though, you're going to see me change clothes and go through several different days because there's no way that I can do all this in one day. So it's going to be over the next probably four or five days. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to record as much as I can while I can and then go to the next day and record more. There's things you can pick up at the Dollar Tree that involve doing nothing and then I have some that won't involve much. But the first thing is a foam noodle, a dollar, at the Dollar Tree. All you do, cut a slit in this. Just cut a strip of this and let me go show you what we're going to do with it. For me, I don't have an issue with this, but I know Bill hits his head on these corners a lot and you can get more than one. I just grabbed one just so that I can show you, but you can pop this right along this and then you won't bump your head. Well, you still may bump your head, but it won't hurt as bad. Also, if you, they have all different colors, so you could pick a color like this is bright and you can see it. So, for a dollar, okay, so you might could do two dollars on this one, but you can protect your head. Another thing is they sell these suction cups, two for a dollar, and they really do work. See, I'm pulling on them pretty hard. But what these are great for, you're at the beach, you can put several of them down through here and hang up your towels to dry. 
get two for a dollar. Isn't that really cool? And see, inside here in our camper, we still have an impact from the beach. But these Dollar Tree baskets, they fit perfect in this. And then you can just stick these in there. You know, it would be even cool is you could probably suction cup them to several places if you like to hang up some little lights and do that. Another thing they have at the Dollar Tree are these covers, plate covers. So like if you're camping out and you've got food out, these a dollar. You can just stick them on top and keep the flies out of your food. Another thing, you get two packs of clamps for a dollar. These work great on the ends of picnic tables, but it can't be too big of a picnic table. You can use these just to clamp on your tablecloth so it doesn't go flying away. Hey, Mabel. What you doing? I need your help. Another cute thing, I thought, you could take this dry erase board. So if you have like teenage kids or kids, I think this would be a neat little thing. It has magnets on it, so it would stick to this. And then you could put it up under here. And then you could write notes on it like, gone to beach. That way the kids can keep up with what you're doing. Or if you want to keep up with your kids, they can write stuff on here. I don't know. I mean, like, I just think there would be so many. Wait, oh, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> I think there could be so many kinds of things that you could do. Because, you know, that way the kids don't have to run in. And it's got this. It's got an eraser on it. So you can just erase it. And it even has a place for your magnet. Now, I think what I would do if this was me. I You can buy some just smaller, big, more strong, more strong, stronger magnets and hot glue them to the back. So it sticks to this a little better. It, it sticks fine. It's just real lightweight. These look a little harder to find, but these are Dollar Tree. They're little stakes. They just push in the ground. You can hang lights on them. You can hang lanterns on them. Cause I've got some little lanterns that I'm gonna be making that would be really cute to hang these on. But I think these could be like a neat little thing put around your campsite. So for this project, I've just got a pencil holder that was a dollar, obviously, at the dollar store, and then one of the solar lights. If you're going to buy a solar light in the ground and use it as it is, make sure that it has the stake with it because these get left out a lot so you don't that. But we're not going to be using that part. On this one, we're going to take off just this part of it and then we're going to put this in here and it's too big so what I have opted to do and I think I'm going to use a black one for this one I want to use a black one on this one so we take this black one I've got some foam board this is from the Dollar Tree um that I have a lot of extra what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down take a pen and mark around. I'm gonna take an X-Acto knife and cut it out. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a, a little sander and kind of smooth this out so it looks better. We need to make a hole for this to go through. We want it to hit right in the center. And then you're going to take this and press it down in there. All right, that fits perfect. Now, to finish around this edge, just so that it looks cleaner, we're going to hot glue some rope. And you could use, you could paint that black. You could use, find some pretty ribbon. I just have this rope here, and so that's what I'm going to use. So now from here, you can either 
hot glue this together so that they will stay together or you could just leave it like this. Now for this one, they have like a little craft bottle that's right now in their fall decor. We're gonna pull this off. So for this project, you could do leave it plain, leave it clear. I wanted to make it a pretty color and I'm gonna show you how you do that. We're gonna take Elmer's glue and whatever color you want. It doesn't, it doesn't have to, it doesn't matter on the color. Take you a foam brush and mix it up really good. Let's put in a little bit more. You want more Elmer's glue. You want two to three times more Elmer's glue. Now, you can put this on the outside, but it might rub off. So I'm gonna do it on the inside. So you just take and rub it around on the inside. You just wanna make sure you cover all the inside with it. All right, we're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back and finish up that one. Once these are dry, then we're gonna take this off of the stick. We're gonna hot glue this to the lid. That way you don't ever have to stick it. Never. That way you don't have to worry about them falling apart or anything. And then we can just put some cute ribbon around it or anything that you want. I also found this that I thought would be really cute. I think that it will make a pretty light using one of the plastic ones here. So you can take one of these. I think it would be pretty. You can just put this around it. You can just hot glue this down. <laughs> Gotta make sure you pull the tab. Then hot glue this down. And you have another quick and easy light. This is not from the Dollar Tree, but you can get twine from the Dollar Tree. So I think what would be cute is you can put a little bit of this twine on there, but you can just wrap the twine around the top and give it kind of a rustic look. But you don't even have to do this. You can just take the, uh, the lights and just put them inside the jars and they work. So there's a couple of those that you can do. If you find these jars as well, again, it fits in there perfect. And these you really probably don't even have to, to glue in. Like it snaps, look how good that is in there. And then you've got some cute little lots. I also found at Dollar Tree this pretty green one. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna glue this in here. I'm gonna put a good bit of glue on one side of it and kind of push it to one side. And then we'll finish putting glue all the way around it. Ooh, too much glue. <laughs> Make sure you have it straight. Then we can put it around the top. Don't even have to glue it if you don't want to because it's wire ribbon, wired garland. Cut it off. And then I think it'd be cute to let that sit around it and then put just a touch of hot glue right there where it can stay. And then there's another cute little lantern. You can make so many different lanterns. They had so many. But if you can find these, these are the best ones if you don't want to have to do a craft project just because they fit perfectly down in here and you don't even have to the glue them around. I found this one too. It's real cute. And it just sits in there like that. So again, no more gluing. And it's just a cute, really little cute one. So it really just depends on how much you want to be have involved in this. We have the little steak hooks. You can make like a little hanger 
All you have to do for that is what I would do on this one, since that one needs some more trim. Hot glue this. We'll put it down like that, and we'll cut it. So we're going to make like a little hanger for it. I'm just going to hot glue a little hanger on here. And then to reinforce it, we'll stick this. We'll hot glue this down. And then we wrap it a few times. That way it can hold the string on. Then we'll hot glue this down. Then you've got a little hanger to hang it on our little hooks. So I hope I've got you a bunch of ideas on a bunch of different lanterns that you can make. I think this would be really cute to hang around your campsite. We can, you can go from as extreme or as easy as you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I'm impressed, very impressed. Even if you wanted to use these without making them into something, these things are really good. The other day, I thought, well, I'm just gonna charge them and see how long they last at night. Cause I figured, you know, they're a dollar. It's gonna last an hour, maybe two hours, you know? Uh, I got up the next morning and they were still on. And I haven't charged them at all since then. And it's been a few days and they're still working. So <laughs> one day of charge, they last a really long time. So they look so pretty at night, all lit up. One of my favorite ones is the green one that has the holes in it just because it makes out like a cool looking pattern and stuff. But there's so many different options that you can do with this. I hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree Outside Edition. I think I found some great things that you can use without even having to do anything to them. And then I gave you a few lighting options. You won't believe how many things there is at the Dollar Tree that you can use. And there actually a lot of it is pretty good. Like I said, I never thought that these were going to be any good. I figured, oh, they'll last an hour or two after dark and then they'll be gone. But no, they worked all night. I think they're so pretty. Also, I found their pillar candles. They're not scented or anything, but I think they would be great just to burn while you're having sitting around outside at night. You can even take these and melt them down and put them in the little flower pots and put a little citronella in there and make your own citronella candles for a lot cheaper than you can buy them in the store. We have a trip planned for the 1st of September. We're going to Helen, Georgia. I looked to try to find an RV spot and we couldn't find any. I think so many people are buying campers and so many people are traveling that we couldn't find anything. So I ended up finding a little cabin out in the woods. It says that we have to walk to it. We can't park at it. It's the dogs get to go. It's dog friendly and it has a creek running beside it. And it's in walking distance of downtown Helen. So we're a little excited about that. So I'm ready to go on another trip. So we have that planned. If everything pans out right this week, we're supposed to be partnering up with an RV store because we're going to go and tour the new 2021 337 Reflection. And me and Bill are going to talk about the verses. We're going to do our 2018 versus the 2021. What's new? What to expect about the new ones? Because so many people are buying them. I say... They have one coming in this week. It's already sold, but they're going to let us do a video and a tour of it if it comes in for us to do that on Friday because we are taking our camper to get the auto leveling fixed and then we have a couple of recalls that we're going to get fixed. But we have a few things coming up, but I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the outside edition. I feel like on the craft part, I was like all over the place and didn't get what I wanted to done like I didn't feel like I recorded it the right way I don't know but anyway <laughs> I want to say thank you again to everybody that's all our new family here and please please just 
hit that like button. It helps us out. And subscribe if you're not already. Till next time.